Welcome back to the homestead. I just got finished pulling up some elephant garlic out in the yard and then a couple of spots out in the pasture and I thought I would share with you what we dug up. Now this wasn't nice neatly planted elephant garlic put out in rows in the garden or anything like that. These were patches of elephant garlic that have been growing in the same spot for years and years and years. So we have several different stages of development and I also believe that Having all of this garlic growing in just a couple of small spots leads to a lot of crowding. And so some of this doesn't really develop the way I think it should. So we're going to take a look at this and see what all is here. And I'll try to explain to you what, what I understand about how elephant garlic grows. What are you doing there, kitty? Leave. Go away. Always trying to get in my videos. All right, so for most of you, if you were going to go out and dig up elephant garlic, this is probably what you would expect to find. We have a big garlic bulb made up of big cloves, and that's pretty characteristic of elephant garlic. Here's another one that's a pretty decent size. It's a little smaller than the last one, but you can see that there are nice cloves here. Here's another pretty good one. But then you also may find some that look like this. This one, notice it's more of an onion shape. There are no cloves, it's just an onion shaped bowl. Now this is elephant garlic, you can eat it. It's gonna taste similar to the, the cloves that I showed you previously, but it's just a bowl. And from what I understand, this is just a young plant. So this might be like a year one. If we were to plant this and then dig it up again next year, we would probably end up with something more like that right there. And in the spots where I was digging, man, I dug up a whole bunch of these onion-shaped bulbs. Which makes me wonder, are all of these just young plants? Or, since all of the plants were so crowded together, I'm wondering if these just didn't have the opportunity to develop the way that they should have. But either way, we can put these things in the ground and next year... Hopefully next year we'll end up with a nice large garlic bulb made up of big cloves. Something else I want to point out here. Notice that thing right there. Looks like a big knot on the side of this garlic bulb. This is a little bulbil. And it's kind of attached here by one of those paper layers. But we can knock that off. Notice that there's a little root that goes all the way down. To where the little root hairs come off. This will become a garlic plant. Elephant garlic is extremely prolific. If you're not sure whether or not you want to grow elephant garlic, don't plant elephant garlic because it will grow and grow and multiply and reproduce and crawl. You'll have it everywhere. But these things are all over the place. They, they attach like you saw to the, uh, to the bulbs. And you even find them on the well-developed bulbs that have the large cloves. There's one right there. They'll fall off in the soil. They'll form a new plant. And before you know it, you've got one of these. And then before you know it again, you've got one of those. Now, like I said, these things are edible, these onion-shaped bulbs. And we will eat a few of them, I think. But I generally try and put these back. And we're going to try and plant these um later on closer to fall as for the nice big bulbs that are made up of nice large cloves this is what you want to eat right oh but wait just a second what you probably want to do if you're trying to save your garlic and plant more for next year you probably want to save the largest cloves to put back into the ground because from what i understand let's say we planted there's a big clove right there Let's say we plant this thing into the, in the ground. This single clove will kind of sort of clone itself and form more cloves that will produce a new bulb. And so this entire bulb next year will be made up of cloves that are that size. Whereas, let's say you took one of these smaller cloves. Well, now you're going to end up with a bulb that's made up of small cloves. At least that's my understanding. I may be wrong about that. If so, correct me down in the comments. I would like to know more about it. But I want to kind of uh, separate these things out into the onion-shaped bulbs, the little bulbils, and then 
the things that have cloves on them and let you see what I ended up with. Did I mention that elephant garlic is a very prolific plant? In addition to the flowers it makes with the seeds, here are all the bulbils that I've dug up. Each one of these is a future plant. Here are all of the little onion shaped bulbs that I dug up. Each of these will be a future big clove with bulbs on it. And then here are the bulbs of garlic that I dug up. Each one of these is made up of several cloves. Each one of those cloves we could take and plant and it will make a new plant. So this right here, this one bulb that kind of fell apart on me. Huh. I could get four plants out of that. So elephant garlic, extremely prolific, extremely easy to grow. Like I said, those have just been growing out in little spots in the pasture and in our yard for years and years. And if you're choosy about the cloves that you plant out for the next generation, you can end up with a whole bunch of huge elephant garlic. It's pretty amazing stuff. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And then you can click on one of these right here for more daily sustainable living.